welcome to expressions craft channel this is jinal savla as you can see i have starfish on my table and i have already primed it with white gesso next you can see i am using 6x6 stencils from expressions craft this particular stencil has four designs i am using third design using texture paste from imex As you can see this texture paste is so smooth and easy to apply. Unfortunately I forgot to put on my camera so I'm showing you again. Here I have used crackle paste. You can see the texture is so smooth and light. This particular paste will give you beautiful texture and beautiful crackles. To achieve beautiful crackles, it is recommended that you air dry naturally. However, I had less time in my hand, so I am using heat gun. Can you see those cracks? They are so beautiful. If you apply a thin layer, it will give you even thinner cracks. In this project, I am going to use natural corals, natural shells that I have collected from Ocean of Mauritius. As we go ahead, you will see the beautiful texture coming out. But before forming composition, I am going to use ground texture paste, natural desert. It literally gives effect of natural sand. Since these shells and corals are heavy in weight, so I am using heavy dimensional gel. Since I already have in mind that I want my composition diagonally, hence I am arranging all my shells accordingly.
since shelves and corals are heavy in weight i'm going to leave them for an hour so that they don't move for my next step once they are dried i am using heavy gesso to bring uniformity to my project After gesso is dried completely, I am using metallic spray emerald sea. Shake it well before using it. using water for smooth flow wiping off any extra that i feels excess Make sure you dry your metallic spray completely. Once the spray is completely dry, I am using iridescent metallic paint teal blue. blue. This paint is literally magic. On lighter surface, you will get teal color, and on darker surface, you will get blue color. I'll apply this only on the shells.
In the next step, I am using chroma burst teacup teal. I am directly sprinkling it on my base and will use water spray to burst it. Chroma burst are heavily pigmented so you have to be careful while using it. Next I am using Chroma Burst Amber Gold. Here you can see me lifting up extra color. this stage I am reapplying Chroma Burst Amber Cold. Once everything is dried completely, I am using heavy gesso with a dabber. Dab any extra gesso that you have on a dabber before using it.
To lighten up shadow color, I am using Chroma Burst Frosty Soft Shell. After it's dried, I'm using this cute starfish using heavy dimensional gel. To add more depth to the project, I am using deco stones. Here's the close-up of my project. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Until next time, see you soon.